In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add load the animation to your WordPress website. There are two methods. The first method is without a plugin, but the second method, we are going to use the official Lotifast plugin, and there will be some advantages and benefits for each method. I'm going to explain that along the way. But first, let's start with the first method. Okay, now I'm in the Gutenberg editor. I want to add Lottie animation to this section of the blog. What I need to do is I'm going to visit lottiefast.com and I'm going to search for the animation that I want to insert. Let's type in website and it will display search results and there are plenty of animations you can choose from. In my case, I'm using a free account, so I think it is only appropriate to filter the result to just free animation made by the Lotti community. Okay, let's pick this one. Alright, normally, back in the day, when you want to embed content from Lotti to your website, you just need to copy the embed button. But now, they require you to create an account. So, you have to click this, save the workspace to generate, and then they're going to prompt you with an option to create account. Don't worry, it is free. You can create account with Gmail, Facebook, or your own email provider. So after that, they're going to redirect you to this page and you will be given many options. And one of them is to embed the animation to your website. Make sure to enable asset link, and then you can click embed HTML but I want to change the content a bit. What I need to do now is I'm going to open the basic Lottie editor. I'm not going to do anything complex here. I'm just, I just want to change the color of the Lottie files. So there are three main colors here. There are white and light blue and also dark blue. Let's change the color of the dark blue to something orange or maybe the brown. Let's pick this one. Okay, this, this is just for demonstration, and after that, I'm going to click save. Alright, let's rename this new file with, let's call it animation gold, and save as new animation. And you can select the folder for this file, and click save. Okay, it's trying to save the file. Now, let's go back to the home page, maybe not the home page, the dashboard. You will see there are two files. This is the original file and this is the file that I have modified. Let's open this file and click embed, enable asset link. Okay, let's click this button to copy the embed code and let's go back to WordPress. I'm going to add a block called custom HTML. So this is the block you need to insert in order to paste the HTML code. And then right click on this area, click paste, and then click preview. Okay, so the animation is here, but you might have noticed that there is this white background and this is not something that you want to see when adding Lottie animation. But don't worry, this only appears when you are editing the file here. If you actually open the preview page, the live page, the background is actually transparent. So it's going to look like this. This is pretty much exactly how it's supposed to look. But given that we are not using the plugin, there is almost no control available. You cannot change the size, you cannot change the interaction, you cannot change the other background color, etc. So in order to get more control, we need an official Lotifast plugin. And let me show you the second method. For the second method, you need to go to plugins, add new plugin, and then find a plugin called Lotifiles click install and then activate. After that, the plugin will ask you to log in with your Lotifast account. Just give it access so it will be easier to insert animations from your workspace into your website. And after that, let's go back to the Gutenberg editor. And I'm going to add a new block called Lottie. There you go. Now you can insert from media library, you can also discover animation from your account or you can also insert from URL. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert from the workspace. There are an animation that I've created before. So I'm going to click workspace and I'm going to select this animation. 
let's click insert and then I click insert animation again and there you go now if you look at the right hand side of your screen you will see many options available you can change the background color you can also change the size you can change the speed the controls the loop the interaction and many other settings uh, i think it's ideal to actually disable the control because you don't want to show this control to your visitor just disable the feature so i think that looks better now you might have noticed there are many things they probably want to remove from this animation like there are tags here there are also borders around the animation but again don't worry it is not visible to your visitor if you preview the page again you won't see that it's going to be clean it's going to be transparent just like that and i think this is a much better version compared to just using the embed code because you will have much finer control over how the animation should look like on your website if you are planning to add more lot animation to your wordpress website then i guess you are going to use the gutenberg editor a lot check out this video to learn more about tips and tricks in the gutenberg editor that will make your work a lot faster and i'll see you in that video